about genotyping and archiving. In this section, we will learn when to do a genotyping, what a genotyping will tell you, archiving, about archiving of resistance, and about options for salvage therapy. So when do we do a genotype? In an ideal world, we would be doing a genotype at first and second line failure. We do this genotype on the second consecutive viral load greater than 1,000 copies per mil on treatment. And genotype is not a perfect thing. It doesn't tell you all the time exactly what resistance your, your patient has. However, if you follow some rules, you can make it work for you as best, as best it can. Basically, you're only going to get a good genotype if the viral load is between 500 and 1,000 copies or above. If the viral load is down around 200, 300, they may not be able to amplify the virus enough to get a genotype and tell you what mutations are present in that, in that viral pool. The, the, the mutation you're looking for also has to be in more than 20% of the virus population. That basically means that you have to have your patient taking the failing antiretroviral therapy at the time of the genotype. If a patient has stopped their therapy, then wild type virus will grow back, your mutations will fall down to being a smaller part of the pool, and you will not actually see the mutations you're looking for when you do the genotyping. There are more expensive ultra-deep sequencing tests that can pick up a mutation in a 5% population, but uh, those are very expensive and not available to the majority of us. So what does a genotype actually tell you? It detects resistance mutations within the viral RNA, and if you know what those resistant mutations mean, so an M184V means resistance to 3TC, that is a very useful thing to know. However, it does predict resistance better than susceptibility. So if the resistance mutation is there, you know that it's there. If it is not there, you do not know that it's not sitting in a small percentage of the virus that it hasn't actually been picked up by the genotype. Archived or minority viruses are not detected. So those are, are the species, uh, subspecies of virus with mutations that are in less than 20% of the pool. So clinical studies have shown conflicting results with the benefit of a genotype. You have to, for a genotype, you have to, to interpret a genotype completely, you have to know, you have to have that genotype, you have to have any previous genotypes, and you have to have a drug history on the patient and know exactly what they've taken and interpret them all together. But most importantly is to do the genotype while on a failing regimen. This is an example of what a genotype looks like, and you can see this person has quite a lot of resistance. The mutations are listed there, and the effect of those mutations on the drugs are also listed there, so you can make a decision from this what to do with the next line of the patient. What we commonly see at first line failure, and what would be useful to know from a genotype, is what non-nucleosides we have available for our next regimen. Can we still use AZT? Is there resistance to tenofovir developed, so can we use those drugs in future regimen? There, are now, there is now a second generation of the non-nukes, so we can look and see, can we use a traverine? Can we use lecivirine in our next treatment regimen, or could we use it later for salvage? At second line, we often don't see any mutations because people don't take the medication enough to produce the, the, the survival advantage for those mutations. So a wild type um, picture with no resistance at second line would tell you that the patient is non-adherent. It also can tell you protease inhibitor choice for future treatment regimens. The next concept to discuss is archiving. And we go back to the schematic that we used two sections ago, but basically we start off with a viral pool that has uh, one resistant new virus to 3TC. And we give 3TC monotherapy and we cause that virus, virus with the 3TC mutation to grow up and dominate that pool. If we then stop the 3TC, the wild type virus, which, it, which replicates better than the virus with the M184V or 3TC mutation, grows back. And we have a pool of virus that looks pretty much like the original virus, but actually has some archived um, uh, virus with M184V. At a later date, if we restart 3TC, that virus will emerge very, very rapidly to show resistance. And this is why it's important to, to know what drugs people have been on previously and have, if there are previous genotypes, to be using those genotypes as well in order to interpret what is going on at this point in time. In terms of third-line options and salvage therapy, some drugs to bear in mind 
Um, Darunavir is a very robust protease inhibitor. It's now available in South Africa for third line if we show alluvia resistance in second line. Raltegravir is an integrase inhibitor that is also um, available now for third line in South Africa. Etraverine is a second generation non-nuke that's available certainly in the, pub in the private sector. Maraviroc is a CCR5 antagonist, also used more in deeper salvage. And Infervitide is, is an expensive fusion inhibitor, which is also available for further down the road salvage cases. If you feel you are not likely to achieve viral suppression again with any of the new drugs, or those new drugs are not available to you, you can try and cripple or disable the virus by maintaining those mutations that cause the virus to replicate less well, such as 3TC to, to maintain the M184V, or, and alluvia if, we, if you have eight or nine uh, resistance mutations to um, a protease inhibitor, often that virus is also significantly disabled and disease will progress a lot more slowly. So in summary, a genotype must be taken only in a failing reg patient failing their treatment but who is still currently taking their antiretroviral therapy. The results of a genotype predict resistance better than sensitivity because minority mutations may not actually be seen due to archiving. And suppression with third line regimens is usually possible and we only use salvage when we're absolutely out of options. <laughs>